West Princess Street Gardens, an expanse of great beauty in a city already more beautiful than most. Generations of Edinburgh's residents and millions of its visitors from around the world have enjoyed strolling through these beautiful gardens, attending concerts and public events, or simply sitting and contemplating life against the backdrop of the castle. These gardens matter to the people of Edinburgh. It's just a lovely space to have in the middle of such a busy kind of bustling city. It's nice to have this sort of little retreat down here. Beautiful, sit down there, just take in the sight and get scared by the one o'clock gun. Maybe just like me, just visiting and then just relax and have a walk here. I remember running up and down certain parts when I was a child and I bring my kids here as well and look at the train bridge and things like that. Good memories. Yes, we always came here for a seat in the summertime. I admired the cuckoo clock and all the lovely flowers. And got ice cream. It's quite open, it's a nice environment, and I suppose I just kind of like nature bit, you know? There's something for everybody, really. But two of the garden's best known features, the Ross Bandstand and the Ross Fountain, have not aged well. This majestic fountain has been dry for years and the bandstand, a venue with so much potential, is looking a little tired these days and is definitely not fit for purpose. Some of the garden's other features, like the shelters and public toilets, have also seen better days. It's time to revitalise our gardens. This is the mission of the Ross Development Trust, a registered charity created to lead and oversee a visionary plan to transform the gardens for the benefit of the city's people. They're already a fantastic asset to the city. Lots of people come here to enjoy peace and quiet and tranquility, punctuated by some really fantastic nights uh, where the stage comes into its own. They've fallen into slight disrepair over the course of the last few years and our ambition is to really lift them so that they're something that Edinburgh can really be proud of. Thanks to generous donations already received, the Trust has just begun work to restore the fountain. This work should be completed in the summer of 2018 and the fountain, bought for the city by Daniel Ross, a local gunmaker from the London Fair of 1862, will be returned to her home and fully functional. And designs from seven leading architects for a new pavilion have been shortlisted as part of an international design competition. These are on display at the City Arts Centre and a winning design will be announced in early August. To sustain this progress and achieve the goal of revitalising our city's much-loved gardens, we need help, and that's where we hope you'll come in. This project is about giving something back to Edinburgh for its residents and visitors for decades to come. We're a charitable trust, there's not a commercial drive behind this. I'll be very honest and say this is for the people and we want it to be everything that you want it to be.